Hello! It is I, Dr. Brian Lorgond111, and welcome back to Void Stranger. This is interesting. Looks like these are always going to be off limits, is that true? I have wings, so no. Okay. So I could fill these holes, but I probably am going to need to cut off an octahedron. Although the only way to cut a ma- uh, I can only move one tile. And there are four pressure blades. I could push the statues in, but the octahedron would have already tracked me down. There's an empty space here and here and here. Alright, let's just start uh, doing some stuff. I could kill the octahedron, but that gets rid of the tan statue. But that gives me an opportunity just to appreciate the geometry of the level. So let's take a moment to do that. And I would be able to move something and do something again, but then I could even make another hole. Okay. <sighs> there have been a good number of levels in this uh, extra puzzle pack or whatever you want to call it that at the beginning it's just like this puzzle is impossible and this is one of them so good job game developers so hmm. pushing statues slows me down so i just want to see how far i could get yeah, like, that's as far as I could push this before this guy has caught up to me. However, I can fly, and he cannot. Which actually... okay. Hmm. Noteworthy. Look at all this extra time I have now to give it another push. Uh, not quite enough to give it another push. Okay, could I have done better? Like, I was not really trying that hard there. So let's actually try a little bit harder. So, I can get you taking a long way around there. I can take wall tempos if I need to, but I don't need to. I think this is what I did before, though. Mm, felt like I was even farther ahead before. Well, now I'm farther ahead, and I think I could get even farther ahead. But you just switch directions there. So that probably means I'm as close as I'm going to get. And so from here, if I push this, yeah... He's caught back up. And if I were to trap them by... I need to pick up a block, is what I need to do. And then hold on to it for a while, and the block is going to be geometry... Well, hmm... I'm not exactly sure. But let's start with this again. So... What block would slow you down the most? I can see that if I do this, and you're still chasing me, I could take this block, and you would be slowed down a whole lot. But that would only let me get one statue into the cubby hole. Ah, not even, oh wow. Let me try that again and see if I did it in two pushes. Alright, so, gain some distance on you. I think I can do one, okay, that's fine. And I want you to actually be nice and close to me here. I could have gotten one more, but for now we're going to imagine that's enough. So with that, oh, it's actually hard to outrun you here. Uh, it's okay. Right, and then over here... Right, I can really outrun you here, because you don't know it's a dead end. You're just a silly octahedron. Okay, so, I managed to get a thing all the way pushed on that pressure plate. I've already used my blocks, and so now I'd have to somehow get all the others... And the only one that I can push next <laughs> is the Tan Statue that's going to start creating opportunities for you to catch me. Um, so that's a little bit scary. 
Uh, how do I want to do this, actually? Hmm. I need you chasing me around here. That's probably good enough. So if you're chasing me around here, then I should be able to get this far and give this thing one push. I could even give it another push. Have another push. And I can give it one more push. Have another push. Okay, that's making progress. And now you're cut off! Oh man, but when I start pushing that left statue, it's gonna get difficult. Alright, but for now... Okay, I've made some progress. I feel like now might be a good time... ...to uh, lure you up here. Come up here, you big dummy. And then go back to making more progress. I don't think I could push it another one, so... <laughs> let's just be patient. Much of this game is about patience. And I think I've commented before, I have lots of that. If I push this to the right, you'll be here. And then I'll be dead. So I did not have enough time even there. However, I do see a solution. Believe it or not. My brain. Yeah, come towards me this way. The solution is this, right? Because now you can't take the shortcut. And now I've got all the time in the world. You big slowpoke. Okay. And then I won't have to push the other statues as far, and that's what makes this seem plausible. So let's get you one. Yeah, you go the wrong way. Uh, actually, I need to get around this, and so... Yeah, come catch up to me a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. And this is still a very good place to slow you down a bit. Yeah, because I have a nice shortcut over here. Don't mind me! <sighs> I think the correct thing to do now is this and use my leverage against you. And I still have some leverage against you, and so I can come back and finish this up in just a minute. Do I want to push this south as well? I could push it south at any time. Uh, pushing it south actually does help me right now. So let's push it south. Now I have lots of time. So that one goes there. And you'll prefer to go up. So we're... Oops, uh, that was not as good. Right, but I can take advantage of my advantages. And at this point, this feels fine. Because I can lose you a variety of ways. Okay, I have some extra distance. Yeah, so you're behind me over here. Great. This feels like it's working. Uh, leaving that there... I think I'm happy to go ahead and take a push. And then I could gain some distance in a variety of ways. I got a bit of distance, and that's probably all I need. Alright, now let's run away from you. Uh, I'm going... I don't like going anti-clockwise as much as clockwise, because I think it doesn't work as well with your move preferences. But the important thing is, the exit is open, and I can walk to it. Okay, that was a straightforward puzzle. I appreciate a straightforward puzzle that initially looked impossible until I thought about the fact that I could fly. <laughs> Imagine that! Burdens! Helping! What do we got? Mimics! Where's the exit? I guess I am standing on it? Well, let's just find out. No, the exit's the upper right. I see it. Okay. Okay. So... How... If I go right, they go left. I have to use the wall... Uh, hmm. 
I don't see how to get started on this one. I guess this changes the offsets a little bit. Yeah, and as a result... Well, as a result, what? I'm not sure. I need to change, like, vertical offsets, which means... Oh, I can replace the purple tiles. Hmm. Yeah, uh, hmm. <laughs> This is not easy. How would I replace any purple tiles? Without killing mimics. Well, I'd have to get them offset first. Okay, so let's do my offset thing. So if I go left, left. Two of the mimics have been offset. Eh, that other mimic is still not offset, though. And from here, some of them will be walking on the purple tiles, and from there, some of them will be walking on the purple tiles. Um, I have to create a hole before I can move anything, and there's no way for me to create a hole right now that doesn't kill a mimic. Well, other than just by picking up a tile with my wand, but I meant create a hole by doing something like that, and then moving a tile by doing something like that, for example, is the type of thing I was trying to do, or perhaps even more interestingly, Maybe move a pressure plate? I don't know. And... I guess just to demonstrate that such a thing is possible... I think I screwed it up. Okay, just to demonstrate that such a thing is possible... Forget the fact that one of the mimics is gonna die. I can change my vertical offset with the Mimic's vertical offsets by doing something like that, or putting them in the little upper cubby hole. But... it's not easy to then get them places. Okay. Basically, I'm just kind of calling out the elements of the puzzle. I still don't see at all how to get started to solve it. Oh, by the way, let's talk to a Mimic. Dots. What if I hold down the button when I release the uh, talk dialogue? I don't think anything will happen, but I'm doing it for six seconds anyway. And it's probably been six seconds now, and nothing has happened. All right. It's good to experiment, as the game teaches you new mechanics. Oh, boy. I was able to walk around all the purple tiles by doing that. That's nice. And now we can walk as much north-south as we want, but no one's in a cubby hole. And here, one of you is in a cubby hole. But that would just put you in grave danger. And here, two of you are in grave danger. And that's as far to the right as I can go right now. I mean, I could do... this. Uh, let's, let's play around. There's still no holes, so I can't swap any tiles. And if I create a hole, I kill that guy. But let's play around with this for just a moment. I don't want to pick up that tile. Let's pick up, uh, this tile. And then let's pick up this tile. And now I would be able to move south again. And, for example, imagine that the upper left trap tile had not been triggered. Oops, and then I actually moved up instead of down. We'd have two guys up in there. And then I'd be able to do this. Yeah, so at the end... I think I don't want to move the pressure plates or the buttons. That's just kind of my intuition in this puzzle. But I don't see how to get started that doesn't involve killing a mimic. Okay, here's something interesting as I'm just experimenting. I can collapse them together like that. But I guess there's a move order thing, and... This one moved before or this one, or... Hmm. It might not be move order. It might be that they all decide, hmm, okay, this is interesting then. So if I go right, only one of them is going to move. And if I go right again, two of them will move. And if I go right again, all three of them will move. So collapsing them like that could actually be a very good thing. Actually, it feels like this could be an even better thing. Well, no, because then I can't keep two of them together on the right. Um... 
I was trying to see if there's a place where I can get it, so... Mm hmm... This might be workable. Because if I do this... There's lots of pressure plates that have gone off. Uh, no, I went up into the thing and that's gonna kill this guy. Okay, but I'm starting to see things now as I collapse them even more. So let's play around with that. Let's collapse them. <sighs> I'm not sure how I want to collapse them. The problem is if I want to get two of them into cubby holes. Hold on, where do we start? We start all two apart. And so if I do one collapsing... Right. The problem is this guy, the rightmost guy, is always symmetric with me, right? Is there any way to make that not the case? Like, even after doing this... Oh, now he's not symmetric with me. Okay, so... I think that is the starting point to a solution. Come on, brain. <laughs> We've been here before. And so... Gray is immune. If rightmost guy... No, I need to be... What do I want? I don't know what I want. Suppose I just try to get one Mimic up at a time. You were there. I would love to replace your tile, but unfortunately it becomes extremely dangerous for the other Mimics. And the moment I move down, you're dead. So I need... It needs to be the Mimic that's closest to me, it feels like. So when I did this before... Let's ignore uh, something. I did this wrong. Let's bang the wall once. These two are still whatever apart. Then when I did this, right. The issue is that in the act of opening up this hole so that I could fill it with something better, the other guy died. And the only holes that I can walk across... Well, if I can get vertical offset, but yeah, it's hard to get vertical offset, then there's a lot more holes I could walk across and refill. Oh, it didn't occur to me that this gets this guy up there. That's interesting, except for I'm going to kill these guys. But I was thinking I could squish them together, and they'd be squished in a different way than we've been squished before, and then I wouldn't be able to go down again. Right. Uh, mm. Like, it feels like I need to get somebody tucked up into this cubby hole, where I could have already done the work to replace it with a different tile, so that he'd be able to get out again without dying. But I don't see a way... I have to get a vertical offset before I could ever get any of the Mimics past me over to the left. Yeah, there's something I'm not seeing, so I just need to play around a bit. Okay, I think I finally found a solution. And I don't know... I just kind of... I didn't see this. I just kind of tried a bunch of stuff, but now that I'm looking at it, I see why this is good. Because I can get one guy into a cubby hole and then walk over and get the other two guys in a cubby hole. And now Gray is offset with all those guys, and so she can move horizontally as much as she wants. Which means, for example, that she can give them all somewhere to stand. And then at that point, the puzzle's kind of solved, because now I can go down, down, and then just walk them over to where they need to go. And that's it. Okay. Once you see the solution, it's easy. It just took me a long time to find it. Alright. Not happy about my performance on that one, but... 
That's what we got. What do we have here? There's a rock to talk to. Let's talk to the rock. Dots. One. One remains. Don't ask how I know. One, one remains. This kind of looks like a numeral one. Is that what we're talking about? Where's the exit? The exit is underneath this add statue. I presume it doesn't go away if I hold down the button for six seconds here, but let's actually try that out. And I think it's been six seconds, and the statues have not gone. One remains. One. One remains. Don't ask how I know. And this kind of looks like an F. I don't know that any of that's meaningful, though. One. One remains. I can't get rid of... Oh. Suppose... All right. Four. Five tiles here. Nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 tiles. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's only 12 tiles. I was thinking maybe I need to rebuild the one out of the white tiles, but no, that doesn't make any sense. I could make it out of these tiles as well. One. One remains. Don't ask how I know. One remains. I, I Before I go off on that wild goose chase, I want to consider if there's another interpretation of this clue. One remains. But basically what I'm witnessing is I could destroy all of these tiles, replace them with these and stuff from the HUD. That's not very interesting. What else could one remains mean? I, oh, there's a Lev statue. Hold the phone. I cannot move tiles around. Okay, so this definitely changes my opinion of the puzzle. Okay, one remains. Do I have to get rid of all but one of these tiles? What would that look like? It would look something like... Sure, whatever. That? That was one remains. What if I just get rid of all of them? So I could do pretty much the same thing. And get rid of all of them like this. That does it. Okay, so I just have to eliminate all of them and also get back. Okay. Okay. Can I basically reverse the path? So far it seems okay. I need you to go away. I need this to have already been triggered. No, then I'd be floating and I wouldn't be able to get back. Wait a minute. Um, how do I... <laughs> Can't use a glass tile? Like, nothing is close enough, right? The HUD is close enough! The HUD is close enough! Aha! The HUD is the key to solving the puzzle. So if I do that and this, well, hmm. I have to be standing on the glass at the end. I have to be standing on the glass at the end. So I have to stand here finally. Okay, that's, that's easy enough. Took me a moment to see it, but now we're there. This is the moment. Okay, so all of these, oh, I wanted all these to fall already. That's the idea, but I have to make those fall first. Because now I'm floating again. Okay. Um, which means this has to be untriggered. Okay. So let's 
Get rid of these. Let's trigger these separately. Uh, oh. I need a path to the glass. Which I don't have right now. Okay. I need to trigger this tile. Walk a different path to come back. Cause them to fall. And then step onto the glass. Is what I need to do. This shouldn't be that hard. Let's ignore some of the top tiles because I just need to figure out the end of the pattern. This is not a valid end of the pattern because I triggered it there. Okay. So, hmm. How do I trigger this? I have to use the HUD. Okay. So, ignore the top half. So I could trigger this tile and then come back to it and then step off of here. So that's the bottom half of the puzzle. So basically I want to get rid of all of them up to here. I'll put my mouse cursor at the base of what I need to get rid of. And then I could repeat the same steps of what I just did. So I want to get rid of all those tiles. I believe I can do that. There's those tiles gone, and I need to be stepping onto the glass uh, a few below me. Surely I can do that. Uh, that's actually a little bit more difficult than I thought. I'm not sure I can do it from here, but let's try. Uh, that works. Okay, great. I've done it. Okay, neat. I don't like the wordy cryptic of the clue, but the level kind of suggested, especially with the Lev statue, that there wasn't a lot that you could do, and so that was an obvious thing to try. Okay, that's fine. Not my favorite puzzle, but... Oh, hey! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Another dead end. Great timing, stranger. Push me into that sparkling pit. I must find it. There's a Sif statue here. I guess I will push you into the sparkling pit. Actually, this would be a great time for me to save a backup copy of the game because there are multiple alternatives here, so I will be right back. Okay, a backup copy has been saved. Another dead end, great timing. Push me into that sparkling pit, I must find it. Okay, so I will do that. I hope you found what you were looking for, Crazy Rock. And I guess I want to go into the sparkling pit too. That seems reasonable. Uh, that would require disabling my wings. I am capable of doing so. Where's my menu button? I haven't used it in a while. Burdens, wings, off, resume. What do I find? E question mark, question mark, question mark. A Sif statue with sparkles. So there's a mechanic we've never seen before. What do you say? You again, stranger. Did you fall here by accident? Never mind. Don't get in my way. I have to continually push the rock. Okay. I get it. Um, and I probably... Do I think I leave this statue there? I imagine so. Alright. So sparkles are a new type of exit that we've only seen in a few places. And they behave as just like a place you can fall into uh, for a special exit. But we've never seen them in front of a Sif statue or a bee statue. I can use my wand all I want. And guess what? I want. Just don't get in my way. Okay. I will not get in your way. I will let you lead the way. I think is what you're telling me. And I will do the appropriate pushes. 
And then if I want a block down there, I mean, there's plenty of blocks. Why do I walk to the farthest possible block? It's just a habit you get in at the beginning of the game to try to preserve as many tiles as you can. Okay. So let's assume that this is correct. I do have a recent backup save, if not. And I would need to, I don't have to turn off my wings because I could do this. I'm choosing not to push the Sif statue. So I believe that was correct. This time I am incapable. Ooh, this time I am incapable. There's a Leb statue of moving tiles. The path is getting narrower and windier, or windier, I suppose. More circuitous. Nothing I can't handle. What about you, stranger? <laughs> oh, wait. Windier. More circuitous. I need to send you on a little circuit. There we go. And the Sif statue, I imagine, definitely doesn't affect anything here, so I think this is the convenience for me to be able to do this, so I'm just going to trust that that's correct. Alright, this time I'm given one use statue so I could create one extra tile. Let's talk to the rock. Hmm. You don't know when to give up, do you? Why would I give up? Do as you please. Do as you please is something that Sif says to be in the final cutscene of Grey's campaign, by the way. You're in way over your head, though. I'm in way over my head, okay. Uh, the use statue obviously has to go here if we're going to get the rock in front of us. Also, we could never push the rock to the north. No, the use statue goes here so that we can get rid of Lev and do all the things that we want. So, rock, why don't you sit here, which looks precarious, but don't worry, I'm about to get access to my void wand. Void wand? Void rod? And then everything will be just fine. Farewell, Lev. And now I can use this to my heart's content. And it turns out that my heart is not content until I help the rock get somewhere. Where are we headed? Who knows? It's exploration. It's adventure. It's the thrill of the unknown. All right. This might be turning into a long episode, but I think that's okay because this is pretty exciting. But if we end up with some difficult puzzles... Also, I'm at just question mark, question mark, question mark. I won't even knock Sif off here because we're at the edge of the screen. All right, I see the Mon statue as well as the Lev statue. Lev statue is going to have to be used to block Mon. Is this supposed to be a challenge? I'll just... Hmm. What will you just? Okay, this does look... I think I see what to do. Like, I just need to kind of, like, keep them going clockwise or something, or counterclockwise, whatever direction I'm going. Because I need Lev to block Mon. And I could get this guy back around in a full circle. So yeah, is this supposed to be a challenge? So far, it doesn't seem so bad. And actually, yeah, we're practically done, right? Because I can just push you to the left. And then in here. And then I can follow you. Sure. So far, so great. I can use the HUD. This is just getting cheeky. Watch your step. I'm almost there. Don't mess up with my move, stranger. Don't mess with my move, stranger. I think don't mess with my moves is suggesting that I need to travel only vertically with him, which it's fine. It's kind of what I was planning to do anyway. I might just be misreading as well. Um, let's gain access to lots of tiles, and I'm going to need to place some tiles for my friend, my new friend, 
my new friend named Rock, or Egg, if you prefer. Alright. Bippity boppity boopity. And I don't need a whole lot else. I was going to borrow more of the HUD, but it doesn't seem necessary. Alright, let's go on an adventure together! You're almost there, and so am I, I hope. I've enjoyed this, but there have been many tough puzzles. Okay. I have to kill everyone to talk to the rock. Also, there are sparkles. My worry... Is that even possible? It's not possible to send the enemies into the sparkles hole, but this feels like another great place to both make a backup save and realize that I'm already going over time and this one looks more involved, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode for today. I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I really look forward to seeing you again soon for more Void Stranger. It feels like we're near the end.